Hello, we are on day 23 of our Advent calendar. Today's story, A Bright Star, A Tiny Town and Three Special Gifts. The Story of the Wise Men God was coming to earth to stay, but he needed to tell everybody about it. If you were God, what kind of sign would you use? Would you send everyone a message on the phone? Maybe you'd use the internet. God didn't do any of those things. God used a star. On the night the baby king was born, God put a bright star in the heavens, brighter than any star anyone had ever seen. And far away in the east, a group of wise men saw the star. They knew this star was God's sign. It meant that God was sending a king to make the wrong things right and the dark things light. Emmanuel, God with us. The next morning, the wise men packed their bags with the most special gifts they had, gold which looked wonderful. Frankincense, which smelled wonderful. And myrrh, which tasted wonderful. They hopped on their camels, because cars hadn't been invented yet, and they started their journey. God guided the wise men by a light of the star. Even when it was hard, even when they got a little lost, even when the journey stretched on for months and months and months, God was with them. When the star stopped over the town called Bethlehem, the wise men were surprised. Bethlehem wasn't an important city. It wasn't a big city. But that's where the star pointed, to a little house on a little street in the little town of Bethlehem. It wasn't what they expected, but I'm sure you know by now that God often does things we don't expect. The wise men looked at the house. They looked at each other. They looked at their expensive, fancy, wonderful gifts. Then one of them began to chuckle to himself. It was contagious. Before long, all of the wise men were laughing. Great big belly laughs of joy. As the laughing died down, one of the wise men opened an ancient scroll and sang. God couldn't remain, sin drove him away, but now he has heard what we hoped and we prayed, God is coming to earth to stay. By the time he got to the last line, everyone had joined in, singing their hearts out. It was as lovely as any Christmas carol you've ever heard. It made the people inside the house curious, so they opened the door. Who do you think was inside?